subject. So I'm sharing the barest minimum of what he found out. Some of you may know John Brown's body. I have trouble saying this. John Brown's body. Oh, I don't know that one. Well, Julia Ward Howe, the poet who wrote the words to Battle of the Republic, heard the John Brown's body at, uh, in, during the Civil War the last few years at a military event in Virginia that was disrupted by the threat of a Confederate raiding party. She went to bed, woke up the following morning in her hotel in Washington, D.C., and the six stanzas of the battle hymn came out of her kind of in a flood, and as she described it, with vivid thought and mind pictures. Just a few weeks after Julia's lyrics were published, uh, the poem was sung to the melody of John Brown's body with the Hallelujah Chorus, and that is what you know today 
and it's become part of American history and the American consci conscience, excuse me, conscious too. This arrangement was uh, made by someone named Peter Wilkowski. He was the conductor of the New York City All City High School Chorus. And I just want to tell you, some of us who lived in New York City growing up and took the subway back and forth from the Bronx or whatever borough you might have lived in, sometimes got lucky and we would be sitting in the train with all city chorus and we'd disband, they'd get on the train singing whatever it was they were singing when they were home. And I think that's the first time I ever heard this. It's really quite wonderful. Um, and Gordon McDonald, where are you? Gordon McDonald helped bring this back to us through, a, through a, another concert with the Robin Symphony Orchestra. So we thank you, Gordon. Um, and so, here we go. <laughs> 